Hey everybody, it's me, Valerie, the Crafty Val Girl. Today we are going to make um, little garden aprons for our junk journals, embellishments, birthday cards, or whatever else you want them for. There's one there. This is a no-sew project. I've seen these done uh, with the sewing machine, but I found that a bit fiddly. So we're going to make them today using what most every crafter has, hot glue. I found it much easier for those of us that don't like to sew or break out the sewing machine. Okay, so here's what you need. Here are your supply list. You need a ruler, hot glue gun, hot glue, some scissors, some gathered ruffle or eyelet lace. I'll explain that in a minute. One quarter inch to three eighth inch ribbon, five eighths to three quarter inch ribbon, and you'll need some little uh, embellies here, little half inch embellies, right around half inch or half inch punches or whatever you have that's uh, that will match your ribbons. Okay, let me get this out of the way and I'll explain the bits and pieces we're going to use. Disregard this little silver guy right here. That's just the center. That's where I need to be. <laughs> Otherwise, I go off camera. Yeah. Okay, so the lace that you're going to want to use is a gathered lace. Um, I think a lot of us have this, but we tend not to use it because it's it's more bulky in our junk journals. Uh, so we tend not to use it quite so much. Um, but th this is what is needed for this project today. This is just ruffled lace here. And it's about, oh, an inch and a quarter in depth. Um, this is called gathered eyelet laces. It's got these little sewn eyelets here. And this could be used as well. This is a little shorter. I think this is just a one inch lace. Um, I tend to like the longer lace. This is a little bit short for me, but it can still be used. Then I also have a longer um, pretty lace. This is about two inches, but again, it's gathered at the top and that's what you want. Okay. I've got kind of a cream colored one here. And this one is white this one's a little um a little more dense not quite so dainty okay and then we've got um our one quarter to three h inch ribbons now i'm primarily using grows game but i got a couple of velvets in here that you can use this is a satin ribbon anything will work um you're not going to necessarily need to worry about um your ribbon fraying on the end because we're going to take care of that that's not going to happen with this project so we've got a variety of those and then i've also got a variety of wider oops that one's thrown in there i'm going to use that with the green a variety of five eighths inch to three quarter inch ribbons i prefer the five eight five eighths inch ribbon but you can use a three quarter inch to a one inch ribbon use whatever you have okay just use whatever you have so the first, and, and we're going to use, be sure your hot glue gun is ready to go because you don't want to wait on it. Um, you're going to need to kind of move pretty quick because uh, you want this project to lay as flat as possible. So you don't want the glue to dry real bulky and you'll know what I mean when we get going. Okay, so get those out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a bunch of two to two and a quarter inch pieces of our our gathered lace now when you cut your lace you want to be sure you cut this very straight don't cut it out here at an at a weird angle because all that's going to do is get in your way be sure you're cutting your lace straight okay so i've got several um two to two and a quarter inch pieces they don't have to be exact we just want to be sure they're right around that two inch mark okay so i have several of those cut grab one here and also with our five eighths inch to three quarter inch ribbon, our wider ribbon, we'll call it that from now on, our wider ribbon, we're going to use this for the bias or the top, the bodice portion of our little apron here. Okay. We want that to be right at two inches. Each mark on my table here is a half inch mark. We want these to be right at two inches. Okay. We don't want them uh, any longer than that is we're going to wind up with too much bulk if we do. So we want those right at two inches. Okay. I'm going to take the green one here just to kind of just shake up the color so you can see them a little bit. Um, be easier for you to see the color than on white. 
Okay, now I'm going to take my hot glue and on one side of this ribbon, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down the edge. With Gros Cane ribbon, it doesn't matter which side, but you want this glue on the back side of your ribbon if there's a front and a back. We're going to take our lace front side down and glue that on, glue that together. If it hangs over on the end a little bit, like mine is going to, I'm not real concerned with that. That's not going to show. I just want um, my lace glued on to my ribbon like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this down. If you have a, if you have, you know, a mat like this, that has got your half inch markers. That's going to be great. Otherwise you're going to want to lay it next to a ruler. That's why i um, designated to have a ruler here because you're going to want to place this right on your two inch marks on the outside. Cause we're going to use these marks right here is our guideline half an inch in from both sides. I'm going to take my, my matching ribbon that I'm going to use. I'm going to turn it upside down. Okay. We want the front and we want this also placed. This is the front side. We want it placed down on the table. Everything is going to be face down. I'm going to hold this in place because I don't want it to go anywhere. And I'm going to run a little bit of glue just inside that half inch marker. Can you see that? Okay, just a little bead of glue. Let me lay that back down. Right on the inside of that half inch marker right there. I'm going to take the end of my ribbon, again, right side down, and I'm going to glue that in place. Please don't burn yourself. Okay, I'm going to smush it pretty flat. There's going to be a little glue come out the end, but that's fine. Now I'm going to take this other side here. I'm going to simply twist it around here and put it in place just inside that mark right there, that half inch mark, okay, and press it down. Okay, and this is how your little loop should look. Okay. Okay, and if you turn it over, this is the front now. I'm gonna flip that loop. A it doesn't matter which way it is. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I kind of like it that way. Okay. Now, again, we're going to flip this back upside down on our work surface. Now, this little corner right here and right here, we're going to fold those over flush with this piece of ribbon. Okay. So we want glue. We want hot glue on this area. We want hot glue on this area right here, all the way down to the lace. Okay, again, be very, very careful. This is very hot. You all know you've been burned by hot glue before. Fold this over very, very carefully because it's hot. Flush with this piece of ribbon here. And we're going to kind of smash that down as flat as we can. You can see I got a little glue coming out of there. Be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. I emphasize. You don't want to burn yourself. Okay. So we're going to smush that as flat as we can. I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to do the same thing with this other side. This is where I want my glue. On this corner only. Okay. It doesn't take a whole, whole lot. So, you know, I like to be a little bit generous, but... Okay, now I'm going to fold this over, flush with the ribbon, and smash it down. See, none of this is going to show. This is going to be the backside of your little apron. And then smush that flat. Smush it down. Okay. So we flip it over, and there we have our little, if you want to kind of, I guess you can kind of spread that out a little bit if you want to. Kinda. Once it's dry, you can kind of move it around where you want to. Okay, so now we have our little our little um, apron. Now I'm going to put a little embellishment on the front of it. And what do I want? Let's put a little silver. A little silver flower on the front here. You can put a butterfly on here. You can sew a button on here. You can glue a button on here. Just put a little dab of hot glue. 
There's my little flower. And we're done. Our little apron. Our little garden apron. Okay, let's do another one. We'll push this one here over to the side. Let's do, let's do, let's see you. A white and red one, okay. There's our rib, there, here's our two inch piece of lace. A little over two inches, I think this is like two and a quarter. Yes. Our two inch piece of grows gain. Flip it over to the back side. We're gonna run our bead of glue down the bottom edge of the inside of that ribbon. We'll flip our uh, lace over right side down. We're going to glue it on across the bottom there. As straight and even as possible. Move it around just a little bit as it's drying so it's straight. Again, if it comes over on the edges here a little bit, don't worry about that. It's not necessary to cut it off or anything. Just kind of go with it. Okay. So there's the front. Okay, we're going to flip it over to the back. We're going to line it up between our lines here. Let's see. Where's my... This is the one I wanted to use. Okay. I'm going to take my... Oh, I didn't tell you. This piece up here needs to be cut at about three inches. Three to three and a half it doesn't matter. Three, three and a half, whatever you're most comfortable with. Whatever kind of height you like to see here, uh, do that. So I'm sorry. This, these pieces for the neck piece here needs to be cut about three or three and a quarter inch, three and a half inches right in there somewhere. I'm sorry about that. My apologies. Now you know. Okay, so we've lined up our little apron between our marks here. And we're going to come in a half an inch. And just on the inside of that half an inch mark right there, we're going to put our bead of glue on both sides. Okay. We're going to take our ribbon, turn it right side down. We're going to put the end in that glue there. Smash it down. Be very careful. Don't burn your fingers. We want again right on the edge of that right on the edge of that half inch line. See that you see it there. Okay. We're going to take this side and pull it around. And we're going to lay it down in there. And this one I'm not going to put down all the way. See, it doesn't matter where you put it. Okay, this one's uneven. Doesn't matter. Oh, maybe you can't see with the glare. Okay, see how I got those glued uneven? That's okay. I'm sorry you couldn't see that with the glare, the way the lighting is. You know, my lighting is bad and I'm sorry. I do the best I can with it. So, but anyways, okay, so there's the back. There's the front. That's the way it looks right now. It's our little neck, our little neck piece there. Okay, and we're gonna flip it back over, and we're gonna glue this whole corner all the way, including the lace. A little beaded, little square glue there. Okay, we're gonna fold it in all the way to the edge of this lace, uh, the neck piece here, this piece, the neck ribbon here. Smash it flat. You want as flat as possible. Okay, turn it around. We're going to do the same thing here. Glue that corner. Don't burn yourself. Fold it all the way in. And smash that baby flat. And there's our little apron. Okay. And, oh, let's see, do I have, let's see if I have a little butterfly in here that might, oh, there we go, well, I've got a little butterfly, we'll put a little, put a little bead of glue right in the middle there. And there's our little butterfly, well, we'll straighten it out and put it straight there. The glue on it. And there's our little. You guys, I'm so sorry. The lighting is so bad. Maybe it's just the color of that not being able to. Yeah, that light color. I'm sorry. But there's those two. Where are my other ones? This one has, you know, just a little punch out flower on the front of it. 
This one has um, a different little, that's a magazine page. I think it was a um, nail polish sample or something. And I punched a little flower out. This has velvet ribbon on it. And this one is the longer lace. Kind of a, I don't know what that's called. Okay. If you have any questions, leave me a message in the comments below. And I'll answer you as soon as I can. Give it a go. Make them all different colors and have fun with them. Send, uh, this one I would send for maybe St. Patrick's Day. Put a pin on the back of it. And nobody will get pinched. All right. Bye, you guys. Give it a go. See you later. God bless.